Welcome to the Random Knowledge Enthusiasts, the podcast where we explore fascinating tidbits and intriguing stories from history, science and culture that will ignite your curiosity. I'm your host Daniel Foreman and today we'll be delving into the captivating tale of the Jerusalem Immovable Ladder, a seemingly ordinary object that has become an extraordinary symbol of unity and division in one of the holiest sites in Christianity, the Church of Holy Sepulchre. In this episode, we will journey through time to uncover the mysterious origins of this enigmatic wooden ladder, and explore how it withstood the test of time, while leaning against the walls of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre for centuries. We delve into the historical context of the ladder's immovability, the status quo agreement, and how it embodies both spirit and unity in the persistence of divisions within the various Christian denominations that share the sacred space. From the ladder's intriguing symbolism to its role in contemporary discussions about religious cooperation, we uncover the fascinating story of this seemingly insignificant artefact and its enduring legacy. So buckle up, dear enthusiasts, as we embark on another thrilling adventure into the realm of random knowledge. The Church of Holy Sepulchre is located in the Christian quarter of the old city of Jerusalem. It is one of the holiest sites in Christianity. It is believed to be the location where Jesus Christ was crucified, buried and resurrected. As such, it has been a destination for pilgrims and a focal point for Christian faith for centuries. Within this hallowed effigy lies the enigmatic wooden ladder that has captivated the imagination of countless people. This immovable ladder of Jerusalem, leaning against one of the church's exterior walls, has endured for centuries, becoming an emblem of the unity and division that marked the shared history of the various Christian denominations that inhabit the holy site. The origins of the immovable ladder are shrouded in mystery. It is believed to have first appeared in the 18th century during the period of intense conflict between the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church. The ladder, made of cedar wood, was likely used for routine maintenance or work to access the upper window of the church. At the time, the church was divided among the various Christian denominations, including Greek Orthodox, Armenian, Apostolic, Roman Catholic, Coptic, Ethiopian and Syridic Orthodox churches. These communities, each with their own unique rites and traditions, coexisted in an uneasy alliance within the confounds of the sacred building. The ladder's immovability can be traced back to the status quo agreement, a set of regulations established in 1853 by the Ottoman Empire, which was then in control of Jerusalem. The agreement sought to ease tensions between the different Christian denominations by maintaining an existing agreement of shared holy sites in the city. The status quo dictated that any change in the physical structure or appearance of holy sites, even with the most minute alteration, required the consent of all communities involved. Consequently, the ladder, which was already in its current position at the time of the status quo, was enacted, became the subject of this agreement. Since no consensus was reached among the various Christian communities regarding the ladder's removal or relocation, it remained in place, untouched, as a peculiar testament to the delicate balance of power that existed within the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Ironically, the immovable ladder has come to symbolise the spirit of unity that could be found within the Church of Holy Sepulchre. The shared ownership and responsibility over the holy site has fostered a sense of cooperation and understanding among the various Christian denominations. Although their beliefs and customs differ, they are united by their common rever reverence for the sanctity of the church and the holy events it represents. The ladder has become an enduring reminder of shared history of these communities and a symbol of their interconnected fates. It is a representation of the mutual respect and tolerance that has allowed the diverse Christian traditions to coexist peacefully within the same sacred place. 
In a world where religious conflicts and strife are all too common, the immovable ladder serves as an emblem for the potential for unity and harmony that exists in the face of deep-seated differences. However, the ladder's immovability also serves as a stark reminder of the divisions and conflicts that have plagued the Christian communities of Jerusalem for centuries. The inability to reach a consensus on something as seemingly trivial as the removal or relocation of a wooden ladder speaks to its deep mistrust and animosity that has persisted between these various denominations. The ladder, in its unyielding position, has become a metaphor for the stubbornness and inflexibility that is all often characterised by the relationships between the various religious factions. It highlights the paradoxical nature of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where a shared love of Christ and a common reverence for the sacred site are juxtaposed with the enduring tensions and rivalries that have, at times, threatened the peaceful coexistence of the different communities. In more recent years, the immovable ladder has gained attention from both scholars and tourists alike, drawing curiosity and fascination from people all around the world. It has become a symbol of the complex history of the Church of the Holy Sacrator and a reminder of the delicate balance that has maintained within the walls for centuries. The ladder, seemingly insignificant in its physical appearance, has come to represent something much greater, a testament to the human capacity for both unity and division. The latter has also been a subject of various artistic works and academic studies, which have sought to explore its symbolism and the broader context of its existence. These explorations have shed light on the intricate web of relationships and power dynamics that have shaped the history of the Holy Church of Sepulchre providing various insights into the ways in which religious communities can coexist, cooperate and clash within a shared sacred space. In 2017, a significant event took place when the Christian communities of the Church of Holy Sacrator agreed to undertake a much-needed restoration of the Edicule, the structure that houses the tomb of Jesus Christ. This collaborative effort was seen as a positive step towards the greater unity and cooperation among the various denominations, and some speculated that it might pave the way for the resolution regarding the immovable ladder. However, despite this progress, the ladder remains in its original position, a silent witness to the complex history of the Church, and a symbol of both unity and division that have characterised its past. The ladder's continued presence is a reminder of the ongoing challenges and negotiations that must take place in order for various religious communities to maintain their delicate balance within the shared sacred space. The immovable ladder of Jerusalem, an unassuming artefact leaning against the wall of the Church of Holy Sacrator, has become a powerful symbol of unity and division that exists within the shared sacred space. The ladder's endurance, maintained by the status quo agreement, prevents any alteration to the Church without consensus of all involved denominations, speaks to the complex history, power dynamics that have shaped the relationships between the diverse Christian communities that inhabit the church. The ladder serves as both symbolism and shared reverence for the sanctity of the site and a reminder of the ongoing challenges and tensions that have persisted between the various religious fractions. In a world marked by religious strife and conflict, the immovable ladder of Jerusalem sends a testament to the potential of unity and cooperation that exists even in the face of deep-seated differences. It is a symbol of hope and a reminder of the need for tolerance, understanding and compromise in our effort to navigate the complexities of our shared human experience. If you enjoyed this podcast, please take a moment to give me a follow. You can find this podcast on various locations, including my at CK Enthusiast YouTube website or my TikTok website, which is at therke.com, or you can find me listed on Spotify under the Random Knowledge Enthusiast. Why not give me a message and give me a comment? I can't wait to hear from you all. 
Thank you for listening.